this is a standard Drupal installation um, with a few modules added, but not too much has, has been changed out of the uh, from what you get out of the box. But what I have done is uh, in the modules that are installed, I've installed the LTI tool provider module um, developed here at the University of Queensland and enabled just the LTI tool provider module. There are a few other um, sub modules which we'll talk about later. What the LTI tool provider module gives us um, is the ability to configure how this Drupal site will work as an LTI tool. Um, the first thing is you can define the tool providers that will uh, be launching this tool. As you can see here, I've been testing with lots of different tool providers. So when you want to add a new tool, tool provider, you, um, which is typically a learning management system, uh, it's as simple as naming it, putting in some key and some secret. And then we also have the option uh, to provide a domain. If you're going to have a tool uh, that's actually used by multiple learning management systems, um, say your university actually runs two LMSs or the tool is being shared between a number of instances, the, the single instance of a tool is shared between multiple institutions, you could add a domain and this will add to every user ID from this learning, this uh, consumer uh, at UQ uh, onto the end of their user ID. So then user IDs are, are unique across different domains. Um, some LMSs don't provide user information to tools and if this is the case you can actually um, have the tool generate a dummy user account for uh, LTI users coming in. So those are uh, additional options you can set. Uh, sorry, should have already used one, two, three, four, five elsewhere. So that's saved and now uh, an LMS can launch this tool using that key and secret. Um, if we look now at the two other things that are provided by the base module, um, we have user attributes. So in Drupal, you can configure um, user account settings to have different fields. So for instance, here on in Drupal, I've defined uh, different fields for first name, last name, and full name. And so I can utilize those fields uh, with the LTI integration by selecting user attributes. So when the tool is launched uh, from, from the, uh, the LMS, um, potentially it can send across these three parameters um, from the LMS with the, uh, the LIS person name given, the LIS person name family, and the LIS person name full. And so uh, the LTI integration module allows you to select which of the user attributes that you've defined in Drupal um, these uh, context variables get mapped to. So we can map the given name to first name, the family name to last name, and the full name to full name. So that's very simple. <laughs> and the other thing you can do inside Drupal is it has an extensive permissions management system, which are based upon uh, user roles. So um, in the LMS, you have user roles and the LTI can transport those user roles uh, to the tool. So the way we configure that uh, using the LTI tool provider is these are the LTI roles that are defined in the LTI standard, learner, instructor, content developer, member, manager, mentor, administrator, teaching assistant. And over here, we have a pop-up list of, of the roles that are defined on this Drupal site. So I've defined, other than those, the standard 
authenticated user and administrator, I've defined a student and a staff role. So I can map the learner to a student and the instructor to staff, a content developer to staff, and uh, a teaching assistant to staff, and just leave the others as just an authenticated user without a particular uh, staff or student role and that way I can build functionality in my Drupal system that's available to staff members or available to students um, and that functionality will be available to the appropriate people once they're authenticated through the LTI. So that um, effectively sets up the LTI so if I was to go to my Blackboard site and launch this LTI tool, you see that uh, it's launched me. If I go to my account in Drupal, you'll see that it's got my um, logon ID, my uh, username, uh, my uh, first name, last name and full name have all come across from the, from the LTI. Uh, automatically and the LTI tool provider module also provides me with this nice LTI info um, display uh, which of course you can uh, uh, protect so that only certain user roles get to see it um, and uh, that provides you with uh, a little bit of debugging capability so you can see all sorts of things like custom parameters that you might be sending uh, across in the LTI launch. So let and I can uh, return back into the LMS um, with a link that's provided. So let's go back into my LTI tool and um, I'll probably have to reload because it's logged me out um, because I'm logged I was logged into the tool as the administrator when I launched into the tool from Blackboard in the same browser um, it re-authenticated me into the tool as the Blackboard user um, that I was logged in as so now I'm back in as the administrator <coughs> um, we can enable some of the other sub modules so the first one I want to enable is the what is the OG module in Drupal there's a module called organic groups um, and organic groups is a very useful module that allows you to build functionality that's available um, to different groups of users and Typically in a LTI tool, you might want that tool to be available to multiple courses in your learning management system. And so in the tool, you need to separate, the, say, the content that the students are interacting with or creating um, between those courses. You don't want the students in course A to see all the content from students that are in course B. Um, so to achieve this, uh, in your Drupal based tool you would enable the organic groups module and then create a group type uh, and various permissions that would enable uh, only the users in that group to see or interact with content uh, that they've cr that that group has created and uh, thus separating uh, them out so by enabling this LTI tool provider OG submodule, what that gives us is that we can, if I go back to the LTI tool provider administration, we now have a group mapping uh, configuration. And so here what we can do is we can select from the Drupal content types that are defined as groups uh, in this Drupal site I've defined two group content types one called course and one called team and I'm going to select the course as what the LTI context to Drupal group mapping uh, works on so in one course in Blackboard um, I will get 
a course here in the Drupal side um, created for that. So I can automatically create these groups. So the first time uh, the tool is launched from a new course in Blackboard, um, it will automatically create the group content item to correspond with that course. Um, and you can also specify the user on the Drupal side that uh, is the owner of that. Um, often in our LTI tools we have the uh, procedure where the instructor, as soon as they create the link, they launch it and thus create the you know, base content for the tool uh, as being owned by that user. But in some situations you might uh, want it to work where the student is the first person to launch the tool, in which case you don't want the first student to actually own the course. So you can have it created by an anonymous user rather than the LTI user. Then there's additional information that comes across in the LTI launch to do with the context of that launch. Uh, the most important thing is the context ID which corresponds to the course uh, and that might have optionally a label and a title and a type. And so the Drupal uh, module allows us to map all of these context variables to appropriate places within the Drupal system. Um, so on our uh, course content type, we can map the content ID to the LTI context ID field, which I've created on that course content type. We can map the context label to the body element of the course. We can map the context title to the title of the course and the context type we're not bothering to, to map. Additionally, in Drupal to the, uh, the global roles, if you're using the organic groups module, you also get the ability to create roles within a group. And this gives you even finer grained uh, permission capability on the functionality uh, that you're implementing. So if you are using the groups, then uh, this configuration page, uh, similar to the global groups, this one allows you to map the LTI roles to group roles that you've defined on this particular group content type. Uh, in this case, I haven't defined any additional roles other than the, the standard member or administration member. So I'm just going to have everyone come across as the member other than, uh, but I could say that the uh, instructor is going to be the administrator member of the uh, uh, group and let's save that <coughs> so now when uh, you launch into your tool from the learning management system the system the Drupal system will actually create course content um, for to correspond with the course that you are launching into um, from the, uh, the LMS. Let's uh, return to UQ.